It's time now for the Business of Health, brought to you by Hendricks Regional Health. Well, are you wearing your Fitbit today? I know I am, and I'm up to just over 10,000 steps right now. And thanks to that technology and an Indianapolis company, businesses can track uh, to see if their corporate wellness programs are really working. Barbara Lewis has much more on that in the business of health, Barb. Thank you, Gary. Well, Springbuck, a health intelligence company, partnered with Fitbit to figure out if wellness programs work. It appears employees who join in wellness programs are healthier and therefore save employers money. Joining me to talk about the partnership are Rod Reeson, Springbuck CEO and co-founder and vice president, Phil Daniels. It's good to have you both here. Thanks, Barb. Oh, thank you. So let's start with just how this whole idea of partnering with Fitbit came about. Rod? Sure. So we're a data analytics company, and we, through our data, we found that 85% of employers last year were considering purchasing a wearable device. And in, with that understanding, with a large, large set of employers looking to buy a device, we said, well, before you go do that, why don't we make sense or make sure it makes sense to actually spend the money doing a device versus just spending the money somewhere else. So we approached a device manufacturer, in this case Fitbit, accumulated all the data to understand what was actually happening so that we could see, does it make sense to put that money forward um, to a device? Okay, so Phil, so, so how did you do it? And what did you find out? Sure, so we are a health intelligence and, and health uh, analytics platform. So we used our software to collect three years of medical claims data, pharmacy data, biometric data, and then uh, importantly for this study, that Fitbit data. Um, so over a three year period, was able to predictively model and see historic costs, but also out into the future to really see kind of the efficacy of the program. Okay, so Rod, is this what the company does? I mean, this sounds like a one, one aspect of, of what overall what you do as a business strategy. Sure, so our intent is to help employers understand where to invest in their population, that micro population of the employees. If, if you ask an employer, do, does the health of an employee actually matter, every, every employer is going to say absolutely. It's evergreen. It always makes sense to invest in the health of the people that work for me. And so we, as an organization, we believe that it's important for an employer to understand where to invest specifically um, in the population. In this instance, we, we wanted to look at the efficacy of a device to see did it actually return. And so as Phil mentioned, looking at three years worth of data, one year pre-device, two years post-device, and to see did it actually improve health. In this case, it not only improved health, but it reduced the overall cost. All right, right. And, and Phil, last question for you. We're talking about health in general. Let's talk about the health of, of Springbuck. Um, how are you guys doing? There's been a lot of news about your growth. Oh, thank you. Uh, closed our Series A financing uh, just in May, and since that time, I've hired you know, 20 new people to the team. We'll continue that trend. Grew by 56% just in this last quarter, and, and we're ready for a strong fourth quarter. Here, here to follow. Okay, all right. Well, thank you both. Thank and you. Thank best you. wishes on your continued success and more partnerships right. in the future. Right. Thank you. Okay. Well, Gary, back to you.